forest. I run the men's shed, the Ravenswood or Max, which stands for men's and community shed, uh, with volunteers. And um, we make a lot of recycled furniture. We restore old furniture and uh, make things to, um, to order for people off the streets or elderly people. And uh, it keeps us busy and off the streets too. Fabulous. <laughs> yes. And if you come together with a group of people to make something, what sort of things do you do on a day-to-day -day basis? Just building, building things in the men's shed. We have all the machinery. Um, so like what dust extractors and yeah. saws and planers and everything like that and a big tool room and uh, we have uh, probably around 40 members wow. um, not all, of course not all come in at once thank God <laughs> um, that'd we, make it a bit busy wouldn't it we work three days a week at the moment we're hoping for four next month so uh, yeah they keep us busy and the lady members uh, spoil us with their scones and ah. in the kitchen because we've got an extensive kitchen there. And there's any excuse for a barbecue or a you know a bowl of soup or whatever. Mm. Do people come in who don't have carpentry skills? Oh yes, yes. So I'm forever mentoring. Yeah. I spend most of my time running around looking after people and mentoring them. Uh, I don't get a lot of time to build things myself now. Mm. And what are some examples of things you've made recently? Uh, garden seats, picnic tables, uh, plant stands, uh, wheelbarrows, things like that. And where do you get your materials from to build? It's all, all sourced locally, um, uh, donations or, uh, or freebies off places like Gumtree or Marketplace. <laughs> And what, and from the factories. What, what might they be? I saw that you had a chair over there yes. that you made. What, what two, materials were in that? Two garden seats. They're made of uh, a pallet, a cable reel and a bed head. And where did you get those materials from? All mostly pallets from different factories. And uh, the bed heads I get from Gumtree or Marketplace. And they're all free. Mm -hmm. And the cable reels I pick up from the electrician businesses. And what's the most enjoyable thing about being involved in the project? It's the camaraderie and friendship and um, just being around other men and people. It's, it's uh, a lot to do with men's health and women of course. So we all get to talk to each other and sit around the table from time to time. It's very good. And do other people come for that same social um, we, we, like I say, we have about 40 members that come in, come and go. Uh, quite, quite a lot of um, supportive people with their clients. Yeah. They come in on Mondays, some, some on a Wednesday. And uh, <coughs> I've got to look after the, them and um, make sure they've got something to do. So if people wanted to get involved, what would they do? They'd just come down and, and sign, sign up some papers and become a member. And whereabouts is it again? At the old Vermont Road. And you can't miss it as you... It's near the old church. It's the, the old scout hall next to the church. Oh. Memorial Hall. Thank you very much for that.